So, hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial uh, So on image processing. So, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about adaptive thresholding. So, what's... Uh, I pretty much have... Um, I pretty much have the code here. So, what this adaptive thresholding is all about is, let's say you have an image like this. And you do a basic thresholding like what we did, uh, did in our previous video tutorials. So you, I mean, you take a colored image like this, convert this image into a grayscale image, and then um, choose a pixel value at which you want to do the thresholding. So let's say 150. So I mean, your grayscale image will grayscale image pixel values will vary from zero to 255, and you have chosen 150 as your threshold value. And then uh, you want all the pixels that are over 150 to be 255 and the rest to be zero. So, yeah. So if you specify 150 in your CV2 dot uh, threshold function, so it's actually going to do that. So, but in this case, uh, let's say we take a situation where we have a picture with a varying uh, uh, light illumination. Let's say we have a picture like this one where the light illumination is not uniform. So what it's actually going to do is it is going to do an adaptive thresholding. So what it is all about. So what's going to do is it's going to take, let's say you have an image like this and then let's say I draw. So I mean before that let me explain the function that's going to actually perform I mean parameters that are needed to perform this uh, adaptive thresholding. First one is the image itself on which you want to do the thresholding. So when you import the image uh, using IM read, convert that into grayscale, this zero is going to do that for you. If not, you'll get an error. So 255 is the value that you want your pixels to be. I mean, uh, if uh, it satisfies the threshold condition, so we can also play with this value like once we go further. So we have two types of uh, adaptive thresholding. So uh, we have a Gaussian and mean. So, so first let's see what Gaussian is all about. And then uh, threshold is of type binary. So you specify that thing. So we have actually seen the image and then the threshold, uh, the maximum, th I mean, image one, two, three, and then this one is four. And then the size of threshold link. Okay, it's 11. And then this C value is like a constant value that will be separated uh, once uh, the thresholding for each and every pixel is done. Okay, let's go. So what's actually doing? So let's say you have an image like this one. So let me reduce the size. So let uh, we specified 11 over there, right? So it's going to take 11. Uh, pixels of uh, width and height and then it's going to calculate the mean for that 11 pixels and then it's going to do uh, it will get a uh, pixel value between 0 to 255 which is a mean of that particular uh, area pixels in that particular area and then it will do thresholding for each and every single pixels in that uh, area and then it will subtract sub track c value that you specify here from that so that's what this adaptive uh, threshold thing is actually doing so now and then i'm going to show the actual image and then the threshold of the image and then wait key and zero and then just all the this so that's pretty much it the code for this one so this one is a thresholded image and this one is the actual image look at it how awesome it is so it actually did image processing so that you could read your sheet properly. That's cool about this. Okay? You could press zero and then get it up there. So I minimize this. Let me play with this value. So I make it zero. So let's see what happens. Press F5. It should be fucking dark. Yeah, it's dark. Okay? So that's what it's actually doing. You know, you want the value that satisfies the threshold condition to be 255, else you make it zero. So that's what the threshold link is all about. So uh, now, whatever it is, it's going to make it zero because that's what you want it to be. So now let's make 
Uh, yes, I want to close the program. So let me make this under. Yeah, now you could see that the intensity of uh, the white values are down now. So you give it 255, so the intensity will come back up. So you the, the contrast goes up, and then you could see your letters uh, perfectly. So let's uh, go ahead and play with our, uh, this area. Let's see what happens if I give it a 50. So it has some, maybe there's a minimum possible value that you could give. I believe it's good. 40. So block size percentage two equals one. That's thirty. Thirty percentage two block size greater than one. Uh, let me try not to make sense out of them, but I play with these values. So it's still counted. Fifteen. Yep, it did. Something. I just want to know where it's the limit. Okay. Fifteen is the limit. So now we found the limit. So let me go ahead and play with this one. Oh crap, what's wrong? There are fifteen, sorry. So now you could see you have a lot of gray areas uh, after I made this thing one. Okay, this actually subtracts something, you know, I mean from the mean value. And then it updates the pixel density of each and every single pixels. So let's say I make it five, so it has to be like finer. So you get less uh, noise in your processed image. So that's how. Uh, I mean, that's how. It's like that's how you play with this value so that you get uh, the processing that you actually want. Like I made it down to see what happens. You have almost uh, no black spots but even this thing is also getting screwed up along with that so yeah that's how you play with the values and choose the one that's more suitable for you guys so uh, Gaussian thresholding is a bit different but uh, it's pretty much uh, the same expect for the way it calculates the threshold value yeah the way it calculates the threshold value so so what's the story to tell here? Yeah, so you could actually play with these two kind of threshold link and choose the one that's more suitable for your application. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now. See you guys in the next video tutorial.